I feel like the strongest thing the teachers do to get kids involved with the subjects that they may not like is we do expeditions. And it's when we focus in depth on a certain topic. They're usually planned, but they're planned around the subjects that the kids find hardest or that might be difficult to understand. Um, this year we did an expedition. During science we were working on water pollution and cleaning, po cleaning polluted water. And we read a book about it. And a lot of the kids didn't seem interested. And I felt like our, my science teacher, she really felt that the expedition should happen earlier than it usually does to get kids more involved so kids would do better. So we took a field trip to um, Mount, Co Mount Cobble. Cobblestone. Cobble. Uh, one of the reservoirs um, north of here. And um, the kids just really, it really got a lot of kids involved in the, the, um, the subject of science. Like, everyone was a lot interested in seeing how everything worked. Like, we toured through the fast and slow um, filters. Um, we went to see the, um, the actual basin itself where the water is pumped from. And we got to watch people work in the science labs as they were testing water and making sure the water was clean enough to drink or consume. And we did a, in sixth grade, we did a chocolate expedition. It was a lot of fun. Um, we learned about um, chocolate farm, ch cocoa farms in Africa. And a lot, of a lot of kids seemed kind of bored with it up to a certain point because they're like, there was a lot of reading and annotating and text coding. So um, we, we actually did read, we read more after they introduced the expedition, but we had to make um, presentations. And we worked with a group of people, usually three to four people to a group. And we talked about what, what's it like for a child who works on the cocoa farm, um, the bad conditions on a cocoa farm. And it taught the kids, it taught the students a lot. And then we took the presentations to Springfield College and we presented them in the dining hall there. And it got a lot of the kids more excited about it. It just, and a lot of grades raised in that subject after that. For ninth grade, it kind of, in a way, felt like eighth grade to me because I knew everyone that was here. I was with them since sixth grade, and I had seen some of the teachers like in the hallway. So it was just like, oh, now you're my teacher, so I'm gonna get to know you. And it was transitioning because for eighth grade we were downstairs, and now that we're upstairs in high school, you just feel like you're older and you have more responsibilities. But other than that, it's really good. My crew teacher is kind of like a second mom to me. She's really always there pushing me. Like, if I'm lazy and I don't want to do my homework, she's just like, keep going. Just keep going. Like, you're almost there. You have, like, what, 20 minutes? What are you going to do? Just sit here? And she really does support me in everything I do. And she, does, she doesn't just tell me what I want to hear. She tells me what I need to hear. So if I do have a problem, I know that she's one person that I can go to. And she is kind of like an advisor. She always, like, keeps me on track with due dates when we have projects in our classes and really keeps me updated on my grades. If they're dropping, she talks to me one-on-one, -on -one, like oh, what's happening, what's going on. And having that one solid teacher for four years, it's really good because every year you switch teachers. So you have to make new relationships and maybe make new enemies at times. So having that one person that you know is always gonna be your friend is really good to have in high school. So when I first came to the school, I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to do this stuff. Like, man, I'm going to have to um, do my homework every night. And if I don't, then that's going to be deducted off my grade. And I have to work in groups and I have to um, be active and respectfully participating in class. And uh, you, you think about it and you're like, oh man, I really don't want to do this. And then your crew teacher shows you how easy it is. Like, just come to class on time. Just when you do your work, you get that three. Um, when you're in group work, just do help your peers do that group work. Um, at homework at nighttime, you have that crew time in the morning time. You have that 30 minutes to an hour that if you need to do that homework that you didn't do that night, you still have time to do that homework. Just don't push it aside. You still have that good 30 to, to minutes to an hour to do that homework. So then once I realized, oh, it's not that hard, um, I kind of overcame it. It's like, oh, yeah, just do what I need to do, do my homework, and I'll be good. The way they grade us is really hard, like they're really hard, really tough on us, grading our papers and projects and all that. And I thought that the teachers used to do it just to just do it, like there wasn't no meaning behind it. And I thought that they would never be graded like that, 
and in my internship, I had to be in a meeting where I got to see a unit plan that a teacher made, and I got to see like the way that my, like his the way that they used to grade his unit plan. I got to see the same. I got to see the same thing that the teacher used to do to me when he used to grade my papers, like the way that they really talked about it and like they presented their work and then they would they would just check off if they met the target if it didn't and like they'll be judged the same way that I was judging my writing so they do it in this school they do something and it's for a reason it's just not to just do it being able to kind of direct your own learning and being able to have that time to reflect um, that's kind of structured is really helpful um, because then you're not only just like making up things that you need to work on, but having to do that three times a year kind of just encourages you to think about it all the time. And um, it's really much easier after we started doing that to see, um, even when I'm not working on my student-like conferences, what I need to improve on and what I think I'm doing really well at and need to keep going. Um, it's In student-like conferences, we reflect on our grades and all that. So even when we're not doing them and I get my grades back, or I get feedback from teachers, it's, um, it really helps me to reflect even when we're not in the process of doing them. Um, it just kind of becomes part of our daily um, reflection at this school.